hello good people welcome to my youtube channel oh, Eric. yes <laughs> i don't know if you remember this but there's something we used to do in the morning before we start yes do you remember uh yes yes i remember <laughs> Uh, I don't remember. The voice, yeah. it's like a training of your voice in the morning. You yes. hum. We used to hum. Yes, we used to hum. Yeah. Why were we doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we were doing it every morning. Yes. And um, we, okay, number one, I think we, we, we were doing was to clear your throat. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't spoken. Remember, you've just arrived. Mm -hmm. You've reported to work in the morning. You haven't spoken all night to anyone because you were resting, right? Yeah. So you've reported... You have to have your vocal cords, you know, right. warmed up, warmed yeah. up. So we hummed our way <laughs> into those training sessions. Yeah. Hum, hum. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about those comments. Okay. The reason I'm asking about that is because of uh, voice comments. Okay. So one thing I picked during that time yeah. when we were doing that is that how you you can command things by the way you speak sure and by the tone of your voice uh -huh. and by the way you basically the way you present whatever you're speaking about uh -huh. so what do you understand by voice command? from that yeah. wow voice command is a very critical part in uh speaking yes. right okay. because how you speak will determine how people react to what you say mm -hmm right it's it's very unfortunate but i think it's just the levels of speaking yeah. you have to first learn how to do it uh the the basic tenets of speaking mm -hmm. and then now you graduate now to the deeper stuff and i think voice command is is one of them mm -hmm. so um when you speak there are a lot of very good speakers we've had we've seen them we've learned about them mm -hmm. Um, basically, when you speak and you have a commanding voice, number one thing, it de determines how people relate to you, yeah. how people take the ideas you speak about, you're speaking about. Yeah. It can make even people think that you can make a good leader yeah. just by the command of voice that you have. While the ideas you're speaking about could be just ordinary ideas, True. but because of how you speak them, they might make people uh, to be like, that can make a good leader. Mm -hmm. I want to follow that guy. That guy imp inspires me to, to want to act, you know. Yeah. So it's something that is very important. And um, many people are fascinated with it. Mm -hmm. uh, you might see the, the likes of PLO Lumumba and people want to really copy yeah. not only uh, the words he speaks, but how he does it. The intonation. The, intonation, yeah. the rhythm. You know, there's a rhythm which he has that, you know, I don't know if he speaks that way in his normal conversations, but there's a rhythm. There's a way he speaks, you know. Mm -hmm. So the tonal variation, for example, you could you could look like look, look at someone like Malcolm X mm -hmm. uh, or uh, Martin Luther King. Yeah. Martin Luther King, could you speak the way he spoke with his intonation? Mm -hmm. I have a dream. Yeah. I Do you speak like that in your normal conversations? No. no. Yeah. So there's something different when it comes to public speaking. So one advice I have for, for your viewers and for everyone watching mm -hmm. is yes, uh, be able to have a command of your voice. Mm -hmm. However, don't try too hard to copy other people who are successful in doing it. Yeah. Don't try too much. Try and exactly yeah. come up with, you know, the way you speak, there can only be one person. Yeah. So how you speak, try and have more of that. Mm -hmm than copy pastes of other people like for example if i try to speak um many trainers say this that you could you, you need to speak from your diaphragm you contract your diaphragm mm -hmm. so you speak very heavily like why i'm the way i'm speaking now yeah. i'm not speaking from my from throat my i'm speaking from my that i have contracted my diaphragm the sound is coming from my belly mm -hmm. and not from my throat yeah. whereby if i speak this way that's from my from my throat <laughs> that's from my throat exactly and many youtubers struggle with this yeah. at the beginning of um, your episode you know you don't want to lose people you want people to stay on for the entire episode yes. so people try and speak very fast mm -hmm. and their intonation gets to go high so that you keep people interested mm -hmm. to watch the whole thing yeah. so do that yes but don't try too hard if you go too deep you would, it would sound like a bad imitation of a giant. 
you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to, I have, I am not scared, blah, blah. Yeah. It sounds, it doesn't sound natural. Yeah. Or if you go too high, mm-hmm. you basically sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> You have to have that balance yeah, where you just right, so exactly give, um, the example of um, African Americans, for example, mm-hmm. they have a specific way they speak. Yeah, for example, even if they did come here to Africa and you're having a conversation with an African American, they don't have really the American accent, but it's also not the African accent. There's mm-hmm. a way when they use words like you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> but they have a specific intonation, but even within the way they speak. And I'll try and insert examples here for you people. But even within the way they speak, you will know the difference between one person and the, and the next. Person. Yeah. Let's give an example of also you have to consider who you're speaking to, right? Mm-hmm. You can't be speaking to children and you're trying to sound like <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please expand from that. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Okay, obviously, which example can we use? Okay, we we talked of uh PLO Lumumba. He's, I think, one of the best, you know, of our time. Very true. However, he makes his speeches in uh, colleges, universities. Mm-hmm. When he's speaking, he's speaking to professors. He's a, he is a lawyer, yeah. so he might be presenting a case in court. Yeah. So, of course, you have to to look at what your audience is, who is in your audience, mm-hmm. what's the intellectual level of your audience. Yeah. He he can he can never go to a nursery school. And speak to to them the way he does college professors. Today, I am telling you. <laughs> yeah. Africa needs to rise up. Yeah. Exactly. He would be like, ah, buju, buju, buju. you know, yeah. there's a way you yeah. have to be flexible. Yeah. And I think, Playful. yeah, yeah those, those, those are the hallmarks of a good speaker. Yeah. Because you are able to adjust to your environment. Mm-hmm. You're not just rigid and you're going guns blazing, speaking as if you're speaking to a to a, a set group of people yeah. they change yeah. you know you don't necessarily speak to one group of people every time mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> we're not saying that you change um the way you speak in nature what we are saying is you become very what's the word aware aware yes you become very aware of the environment you're in. the contexts uh are, are, are the things which people need to put in mind mm-hmm. where and who are you speaking to <laughs> so um, the importance of especially public speaking because now we're speaking about um, public speaking the importance of training your voice uh-huh. what's the attachment call them <laughs> paralinguistic features these are very basically the soft uh, the soft um, skills that you need to have yes you've learned the language yes you you know how to write but now the soft ones like tonality mm-hmm. like rhythm mm-hmm. like speed I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> <They all come. laughs> you've not even heard her, but you've just read her her, her, her lips, right? Yeah. I'm going to beat you up. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. You have to rush back. Mm-hmm. But if your mom comes out and they're like, these kids, what am I going to do with them? You know, yeah. that's something different. Yeah. So it's some of those things, like I said, the soft skills that people need to develop. So it's an ongoing journey. No one is, uh, unless there are professionals out there, yeah, we are still growing in it.